Hey everybody, welcome to my shop. Come on in. Hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the shop. Hope everybody's having a good new year. Hopefully 2022 will be better than 2021. I mean, 2021 wasn't too bad for me because, you know, I got my shop open and I'm making chips. But if we could just get over this virus stuff and we can get back to normal, it would be awesome. So as you can see, I got a new addition to the wardrobe. I guess welcome to uh, getting old. <laughs> I've needed glasses for reading and then also for driving, but now I finally had to give in. Stuff's getting fuzzy, so I got to wear them full time. So you're going to see me wearing glasses full time. I guess uh, welcome to uh, old, be an old man. <laughs> Anyways, just want to give a shout out before the video starts to all my subscribers and my viewers. Appreciate you hanging out with me. It's been great. And uh, we're continuing to grow, you know. So as uh, Ralphie says, you know, much love. I appreciate it. Today's project is we're going to make this... Uh, fixture to grind horizontal cutters. Hopefully it's not getting too washed out. I mentioned this uh, in my previous mail call of a, one of the upcoming projects. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this because it is like uh, 29 degrees out. It snowed last night. We got about six inches of snow on the ground. I got a fire roaring in the uh, wood stove. So what better way to spend the day is, you know, in the shop making cool stuff. So uh, let me take you around, we'll uh, look at what the plan of attack is going to be and we'll go from there. So as I mentioned, I got the fire roaring in there. Because uh, we got that snow on the ground last night. So a little bit of a winter wonderland out here. Well, you're looking at the materials I've gathered up. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this fixture out of aluminum. I don't know if the original one was probably steel, but uh, I've got plenty of aluminum and I don't see a reason why we can't make it out of, out of aluminum because you know, there's not hardly any forces on it. I mean, all we're doing is we're just dusting off a, you know, a cutting edge, cleaning it up. So that's what we're going to make it out of. I've got um, this big piece here, which is about uh, a little over three inches, uh, inch thick. So that'll be fine. We can, you know, cut this up. I can make the base, and I can also make this column. I've got this piece of uh, one inch. Oh yeah, both of these are 70, 75. So we can make the shaft out of there to hold the cutters because this is. A uh, one inch bore for all my cutters and they just slip on just nicely so I don't have to turn anything down and I think you know this would be fine if we were or if I was you know sharpening cutters all day long day in and day out then I'd probably want to make the shaft out of steel just so it wouldn't, wouldn't gall or scratch or you know eventually get worn down and not hold a tolerance but for the occasional sharpening I'll do I think that's fine and I got another piece here. I can use this to make the uh, fixture here to hold the finger. And I've got some strapping here so we can make that finger out of the strapping. And of course the only problem is you can't mag down aluminum obviously. So I've got this piece of plate. Just uh, probably hot rolled A36. So what we can do is we can just put that on the bottom of the base so that will be uh, able to clamp down. And I think uh, that's going to be the plan of attack. Obviously we've got some milling, a little bit of drilling, a few holes to tap. Uh, I'll probably turn this on the lathe. So it be a good uh, mix of stuff. Let me get over to the uh, bandsaw, cut the stuff down to uh, pretty much a rough dimension. And you guys can uh, meet me over at the mill.
see that doing some fly cutting squaring this stuff up this is a uh, 15 thousandth depth of cut and I'm using an aluminum cutting insert CNMG 432 I'm using these babies right here Corlos, hope we can see that. I don't want to get in the way of the fly cutter. Seems to be working real well, even a nice mirror finish if the camera's picking it up or not. Alrighty. A few see it very well in the camera and picking it up not too bad running 720 rpm about two and five eighths inches per minute so cool i'll keep picking at it I increased the RPM to uh, 1,020, same feed rate. See what kind of surface finish we can get. This is just a 10,000 cleanup pass. The surface finish looking pretty good. And the screen is working pretty good too. <laughs> Keeping the chips down. So now I'm just cleaning up the sides. See if I can get a little better finish with a uh, climb mill in there. Using a uh, three quarter inch end mill two footer. Looks good, but still a little bit rough. Well, now I'm working on the, uh, the sliding fixture that goes on the front that holds the finger. Decided to try this uh, carbide insert face mill. It's got uh, positive rake inserts. I was waiting for a 40 tool holder. Let's see what kind of surface finish this is going to leave versus using a fly cutter. Hopefully we won't have any chip welding. I got a little WD on it. That'll keep it cool and lubricated. Hopefully you guys can see that. Get a little extra white in there. Feels pretty smooth. Surface finish isn't bad. There you guys can see that get the light right. Alright, cool. I'll just continue to use this uh, face mill. I was running it at uh, 720 RPMs.
it's the next day. Figure it's a good day to be down in the shop. It is uh, like 16 degrees out. We got about two inches of snow on the ground yesterday. And my wife is up uh, putting up Christmas decorations. So come down here and get a little work done. So as you can see, all three pieces are done, cleaned up and squared up. So this is obviously the sliding part here where the finger's gonna go. We'll have to mill a slot out here and of course drill and tap for a uh, probably a socket head to go through here to control the distance. And I've been thinking about this. What's the best way to get this column attached to the base? Because what I am worried about if I just like drill a couple holes from the bottom, if we don't get this just perfect, if it's off a few thou, that means the cutter is gonna be off a few thou and we won't be grinding perfectly straight. So I really need this column to be perfect with this base, so say basically, you know, the back and the column are right with one another. So when I put this on the mag chuck, I can, you know, reference off of this, or I can reference off this side by just sliding it up against the fence on the mag chuck, and I know we're good, you know. So this will be parallel, and obviously this will be perpendicular. So I think what I'm going to do is. Mill out a slot. Oh, almost lost her. Say like this. And that way the column will sit in there. And obviously, if we mill this right, then we know it'll be perfect because there won't be any twist this way and it won't be off any this way because it'll be fitting in that slot. And then we can just do a couple screws just to retain it so it's not going anywhere. But we know that uh, you know everybody is right with the world. So I think that's the plan of attack. I'm gonna probably go over to the bandsaw and just uh, cut out the majority of it, and then uh, he'll meet me over at the mill, and we'll just uh, buzz this out. Just came in on the sides with the bandsaw. Now I'm just going to uh, drill some holes, and we'll get this uh, centerpiece out. So I am just chewing out the center. This is my uh, final depth. It's a carbide end mill. So hopefully that'll help contain some of the deflection. A little more rigid. It's about a uh, 50 thou depth of cut right now. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know, it's about the reflection there. So I'm just taking about uh, 10 thou off, trying to get uh, the sides cleaned up. The reason why I'm doing this, yeah, you want nice square shoulders where they come together so that piece will fit in. Because if I milled it the other way, then I'd have the radius down here in the corner I have to deal with. Which, you know, you can come back and then flip it this way after you've already pretty much cut it, but figuring this will be all right. We're not in a rush, just take it easy. Let the end mill do its thing. Take another 10. It's starting to clean up there, I think. We'll use this as a zero and then we'll move over the distance we need. All righty, we're almost there. I think we're going to be about 20 thou shy of what we're shooting for. 
Let's see, uh, let's see if we're, we're about there. Try to do this with you guys watching. Yep, well actually we need um, 24,000. All right, cool.